Hi, this is Chris Terrell. Today we're going to be solving the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, we're going to be doing it via a range, so we're going to delete these out. Go ahead and hit Alt F11. That's going to take you to the back. We're going to call this sub Fibonacci 3. So I'm just going to copy, change that to 3. There's my sub. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the range property. And I know that I'm going to start in B10. And I know that I'm also going to go to B16. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass this. Now that has to be in a it has to be in double quotes. So that sends a string which converts it, it to that range. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send actually a formula. So that's R minus 1. Whoa. R minus 1 C, which basically means I want to go up one column and stay or up one row and stay in the same column, and I want to add R minus two columns, and I want to add those two together. Or R, let me go over that one more time. So it's R minus one my, minus one row, stay in the same column. R minus two rows stay in the same column. So when I hit F8, it's going to populate my formulas and you'll see it works perfectly. So you'll notice that it throws in that formula because I passed it that string. Let's go ahead and delete. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and just show you how that works. If we come over here to developer, go to macros, fib3. Oh, it gave me that error because I didn't finish this out. So let's try that one more time. Fib3 run and we're good. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com and most importantly, learn VBA.